Hey guys, welcome to another five minute design. And today we're gonna to be doing an ad over shoes. These shoes right here, in fact. They're running shoes and our job is to make an ad that promotes them. A lot of ads you'll see for running shoes mainly focus on speed or the fact that they're really lightweight. But for these shoes, we're gonna focus on how good their traction is. Because better traction means better running. So I'm gonna start by getting rid of this background. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the shoe in a running position. That means we're gonna flip it around so it looks like we're going from left to right. And I'm gonna use the Puppet Warp tool to put it in position. So now it looks like our shoe is being worn by some kind of invisible runner. I think a cool way to show that traction aspect of this is to have the shoe almost be made of goo. And so part of the shoe is left on the ground where it's been, and the part that's been left behind is kind of still stuck to the shoe. It'll give that illusion that the shoe is really, really sticky. So to do that, I'm gonna start by drawing a line representing our floor. And now I'm gonna use the liquify filter to stretch out the shoe and make those goo lines. Now we've got a base for that. I'm not honestly in love with the colors of this shoe, so I'm gonna tweak those just a little bit. So I'd like this goo to be the same yellow as this part of the shoe, so I'm gonna adjust it some. So that's much better. It kind of reminds me of like liquid honey or lava or something like that, which is pretty cool. So you'll notice there's some black tread in here and that's giving us some odd lines. So I'm just gonna turn that tread white to match this part of the shoe. All right, sweet, so that looks much better. So now you can notice there's a lot of discoloration, especially in this white area here. So I'm just gonna get rid of that by desaturating it. And there's the difference that made. Now when it comes to the layout for this ad, I really want people to understand that it's about the grip of the shoe. I think this concept is pretty clear. Just to make sure people get the point, I think we need to put the word grip somewhere in here. And maybe we could even say something like true grip, just to spice it up some. We need to keep in mind that the shoe is the focal point of the ad. And I feel like it's pretty eye-catching right now. So all we have to do is make the text support the shoe while making sure it doesn't overpower it. So I just had a cool idea. Maybe instead of the shoe stepping on the floor, we could actually have it stepping on the word grip. I think that would really help drive the point home because now the shoe would actually be gripping the word grip. But in order for this to look good, I think this is going to need to be 3D similar to the shoe. So to do that, let's start by choosing the font that we want and the layout for our text, and then we can transition those into 3D. As far as fonts go, we wanna pick something fairly bold because this is gonna be the foundation that our shoe is stepping on, but we also don't want it to be wider than the shoe itself. I think this is a pretty good option. It's got that really thick look and it fits well within our shoe. And of course our true needs to match this font as well. I like this layout where the true is on top and the grip is underneath the shoe. The only problem is right now the text really overpowers the shoe, mainly because it's so dark. So what we might wanna do is make the text really close to the color of the background. So almost like a pure white. And since we're gonna make this 3D, the letters will still have some depth and some shadows and that should help make them legible enough. So to make those letters 3D, I'm gonna use Blender. It's a free software, you guys should check it out if you haven't used it before. I'm gonna start by making our camera the same resolution as our ad. Next, I'm just gonna add in a simple plane and stretch that to where it fills the bounds of the camera. Then we can add in our text. We wanna change that text to match the font that we'd picked out. Now for the cool part, we can give those letters some depth. Next is time for some lighting, and I'm gonna use an area light, which is basically just a plane that casts light from it. We position our light in the middle, drag it back a little bit, make it larger, and then tilt it to where it's facing down. I'm gonna increase the brightness of the light. Now we're gonna give our text in the background a white material. All right, now I can just render this out and see what we get. So here's our render. The words are obviously a little too small, and not quite in the right place. So I'm gonna shift those around, and I'm gonna re-render it. Okay, so there's our final render. I did change a couple of things. First, I shrunk the word true down to where the edges of it and grip lined up perfectly. And then I ensured that the top of the word grip was pretty much flat. We didn't really want a camera angle that allowed us to see too much of the top of the word. That contact line needed to match between the two. So now we're gonna lighten up that background some, get it closer to that white we had originally. All right, so now that's a lot better balanced. Our words are pretty light, but they're still readable. And our shoe clearly is the main focus of this. I'm gonna shrink down the shoe just a smidge to where this toe isn't sticking so far past the edge of our words. We kinda want everything to stay within this box. And we'll just lower that down onto the letters. Now we need to reshape our goo to where it looks like it's sticking to these letters and not just a flat floor. Our shoe is supposed to be sitting on top of our letters, so we need to make sure all of our ooze doesn't run over the front of the letters. So I'm just gonna erase away any parts that do. Now this ad is going to be a product release ad, so that means it's gonna show the product and tell people when they can expect it to be available. 
So we're gonna add a date to the poster, and that's the date the product's gonna launch. And we're just gonna use the same font that we did for our 3D text. I'm gonna make it a dark color so it stands out, something similar to the shoe. Size-wise, we're gonna keep it fairly small because it's already gonna stand out since it's so dark compared to everything else. And we really want people to see this first before they look at the date. Now we need to put the logo up here, but to do that, I think we need to push the word true down and that'll give us some more space. And I made sure the distance between the top of the poster and the top of true is the same distance as the bottom poster is from the bottom of grip. So now I'm just gonna make a quick logo for our company. I'm just gonna call our company Souls, kind of just a play on shoe soles. I just added this little part because it looks similar to a wing and also reminded me of speed or something fast, which seemed relevant since this is a running shoe. So that's our logo. We're just going to stick that in our design. Make that roughly the same size as the date. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. The final thing I'm going to do is just a little bit of color correction, and then I'll stick this on a mock-up and see what it looks like. And this is our final result. I thought this was a really interesting concept. I think it's a pretty unique way to show off a product like this. And I think the imagery is definitely interesting enough to catch people's attention. I'd love to hear what you think about it down in the comments. Maybe there's something you would have done differently. Feel free to let me know. If you like these kind of videos, I've got several more here that you can watch. If you haven't subscribed already, I do hope you'll do that. I've got a lot more of these coming. And please let me know what kind of videos you guys want me to do. Whether it's branding or product design or more posters. I want to make sure I'm making the videos that you guys want to see. All the assets I used in this video are linked in the description if you want to check those out. Once again, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.